Hey, what's up? Six Tario here, trying to be showing you a bug that I actually found today with iOS 7 Beta 1. Um, it has to do with the Newsstand app closing. Now, I opened the Newsstand app just a few minutes ago for the first time, um, you know, since updating to iOS 7. I actually make that for the last, like, four or five months because I don't use that application. I actually get rid of it on my iPhone 5. But anyway, uh, the issue is that when you close the application, it respring's and goes to the lock screen. Now, obviously there's no iOS 7 jailbreak as of yet, so this issue is caused by something that has to do with the update. So, of course this is on iOS 7 beta 1. I'll just show you it's not, it's, uh, not a theme. So, iOS 7.0. 11 Alpha 4372 um, Quebec. Now I think it's 10 to 15 seconds that new stamp has to be open before it actually does it. But now uh, all the new stamp actually does is just you know act like it's going to open and do stuff. I mean I can go to the store and stuff like that, but usually just sits there sits there and freezes. Um, I can go through here, look through all the application, or look through all the little books and magazines and stuff like that. And what the fuck? There's actually a magazine called Swag. Wow, somebody doesn't get a lot of pussy. <laughs> okay, so I think now I should be able to close it, and it'll show the issue. Close the app, and it should respring, and it's not doing that. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it might have to be idle in this screen right here. So we're going to go ahead and count the 15 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there it goes. The iPod just respring itself on stock iOS 7.0 beta 1. Um, I only want to make this video just to point that out. And uh, yeah. But there is one cool thing with iOS 7 that I did find. And you can now put the new stand app in a folder. And not have to worry about it. Thank you, Apple. But it would be much better if Apple just scrapped the application altogether because, honestly, I mean, there are people that use it, but is it really that useful? I mean, there's a tweak for jailbroken iPhones and iPads that you can get rid of the application or hide it completely. Uh, I think that's a very good thing, and I think Apple should just get rid of it. But uh, otherwise, I just want to point out that issue with iOS 7. And uh, maybe we'll see that fixed in beta 2. Anyway, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 6 Zero, and see ya.